One of the last men to be executed in California was the notorious leader of the Crips gang, Stanley Tukey Williams, in 2005. As a media witness randomly chosen, I watched it happen. And here's what that was like. With the rusty doors to the execution chamber creaking open, Stanley Tukey Williams shuffled in, shackled and cuffed. Wearing a blue shirt, blue jeans, no shoes, just socks. I remember thinking how those pure white socks stood out to me in stark contrast to what was about to be the darkest moment of his life. It was the end of the road for this convicted killer, a man who formed the notorious Crips gang in L.A., on death row for killing four people, including military veteran Albert Owens. Tukey Williams' execution did not go smoothly, as my fellow media witnesses described that cold December morning. They had some trouble with the second IV, which was in the left arm. It took them... It, it may have been 10 minutes. It was just an awful lot of uh, sticking needles and taping things down, and he raised his head several times. At one point, asking the technician, are you doing that right? Quite simply, they couldn't find a vein. He looked exasperated at the length uh, of the process of doing this. Williams' barrel-chested torso heaved. All I could hear were the weeping sounds from his victim's family. The reaction from the stepmother of Albert Owens was, still is, Etched in my memory. And she was looking just straight at Williams the entire time, did not move whatsoever. From the time Williams walked into the chamber to the last moment he took his last breath, 36 minutes had passed. It remains one of the most difficult assignments I've ever been given, tougher to watch than I thought, and even more difficult to talk about. But it was the wheels of justice in motion. Wow. And one thing we couldn't show you was the spectator section, if you will, for lack of a better term, of the actual death chamber with rising bleachers. It was very archaic looking, very medieval looking, and they actually declared him dead through a squeaky door. A piece of paper emerged from it, and then they declared him dead once he was actually uh, put to death. Yeah, we talk about these executions, but very seldom do we actually get to see it play out in front of us, right? It was, Different it was bizarre, that's for sure.